Shavuot Tov at Badvach. Tonight's story, which is a true story, took place with Lubavitcher Rebbe. And since this is just a few days before the anniversary of the Rebbe becoming Rebbe, I would like to share a story, a little bit of what a Rebbe is about, as if I understood. Many years ago, maybe 35, 40 years ago, there was a non-Jewish teenage girl living in a suburb of Melbourne, Australia, and she approached one of the Chabad rabbis and she expressed an interest in becoming Jewish. She, sh she said that she was very touched, affected, profoundly affected whenever she would read or hear about the Holocaust, and she really wanted to join with the Jewish people. So Rabbi Chaim Gutnik, at the time the chief rabbi of Melbourne, was asked to deal with the conversion to teach her and guide her through the process. After meeting the girl and being very touched by her sincerity, the rabbi was very hesitant. He said, a teenage girl living with her parents, how will she be able to observe kosher, Shabbat, all the laws that any religious Jew or any convert is going to observe when she's in her parents' house as a young girl? So he kind of said, let's wait a couple of years and see if you still want to go through with it when you're more independent, and then we'll pursue it. The girl was very, very upset. In fact, she fell into a depression and she had to go to be um, put in a hospital. And when the rabbi heard this, he contacted Rabbi Gutnik and said, you must do something about this girl to help her out. She really, really wants to become Jewish. So they suggested to the girl, she write a letter to the rabbi. And Rabbi Gutnik said, he'll write a letter to the rabbi. The rabbi says he should move forward with the conversion. He will be more than happy to do it. A short while later, he gets back a letter from Brooklyn, from the Rebbe, who to my knowledge is never in Australia, and the Rebbe asked him, what's doing with the Jewish girl in this suburb, that I can't pronounce, Baklava or something, of Melbourne? And Rabbi Gutnik couldn't understand who the Rebbe was referring to, what Jewish girl in this suburb? It's a non-Jewish girl who wants to convert. So he went to his friend, Rabbi Serebransky, who had introduced him to the girl, and together they went to the home. Of course, the girls in the hospital, they went to the home and they met with the parents. Just the mother was home, and they said, could you tell us what's going on? Your daughter wants to convert. I know that you're not for or against it, but the Rebbe says something about a Jewish girl. Is there any Jewish roots in your family? And at first, the mother tried to beat around the bush and to avoid it, but eventually she said, I'm Jewish, I grew up in an Orthodox family in England, but I rebelled against everything married a non-Jew and moved to Australia, and our children were all brought up as if they were totally not Jewish. But in fact, she is very Jewish because her mom is Jewish. Therefore, the Rebbe's response, what's doing with a Jewish girl? So, she quickly was able to leave the hospital and didn't even have to undergo a conversion because she was actually Jewish. Now, the two rabbis didn't know she was Jewish. She didn't know she was Jewish. Her mother didn't tell her she was Jewish. But when she wrote a letter expressing her desire to become Jewish, the Rebbe, thousands and thousands of miles away in New York, was able to feel and sense that this is a Jewish soul talking to him. And therefore, he responded as he did, and the girl was able to realize her Jewishness and be Jewish. In fact, today she's a teacher in the Jewish school, I believe in Melbourne. So, it's nice to care about other people. It's a different level to sense the holiness of a soul, the preciousness of a soul that you never actually met face to face, but you have a sense of that holiness. That's what a Rebbe is, that's what a Tzaddik is. Meanwhile, those of us have to also be sensitive to other people and do our best to be a help for them. Have a great week.